understanding improper fractions. So um, to truly understand what an improper fraction is and um, to sort of move us along into being able to convert that into a mixed number fraction, um, we're going to start by looking at 14 fifths and actually looking at that pictorially sort of see um, what that looks like um, uh, when we start to break it down. So um, we're working with fifths here and I know that because the denominator is five and so I'm going to get a bar and my um, five parts here. So I'm going to shade this in one, two, three, four, five and I'm just going to label that um, five fifths. Now I want 14 fifths so I do not have enough um, I can't start uh, cutting these in part. If I do that, they become um, tenths because we'd end up with uh, parts that were smaller um, and there would be ten equal parts as opposed to five. So what we actually need to do is get another whole bar and cut, break that into fifths as well and then shade those as well. So five fifths, six fifths, seven fifths, eight fifths, nine fifths and ten fifths. I'm just going to record that down. And again, uh, I'm still not there, I need 14 fifths. So same as before, I'm going to get another bar and I'm going to shade those parts as well. So 10 fifths, 11 fifths, 12 fifths, 13 fifths, 14 fifths. So we're now at that point where we have 14 fifths. Now, um, when we actually look at these bars, um, what we actually have here, and we can see quite clearly um, in this bar at the top is that we have one whole bar and we have another whole bar okay so if i was to record that that this would be one and this would be one and one plus one we know equals two so what we've actually got here is two whole bars and then what we have remaining down here is four fifths so if we were to want to convert um, 14 fifths into a mixed number fraction, we would say that 14 fifths is equal to two wholes and four fifths.